It's okay. What's taking your sister so long to get here? I don't know. She... Hey, guys. Katie, what happened to you? You're all muddy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, uh, slipped. You slipped? It's not even raining out. Yeah, but, uh, the sidewalk was still wet. No, it wasn't. I... You what? I was just out there. Yes, the sidewalk's not wet. Look, I just slipped, okay? It's not a big deal. Um, you don't have to tell me. I will talk to her. Hey, sis. What's going on? And how come you didn't change your clothes? I'm just thinking. About what? Nothing. Katie, what's going on? What makes you think there's something going on? Because you're not usually this out of sorts. I mean, you're going to be a lot of the time, but not like this. I'm fine, really. No, you're not, Kate. Will you just leave me alone? Katie, look, we're sisters. You could tell, tell me anything. Okay, fine. I'm telling you to go. Whatever. I'll get you to crack eventually. Yeah, but don't hold your breath. <sighs> hey, Mom. Hi, any luck? No. Katie just got really defensive when I asked her what was wrong. She got really mad. She even kicked me out of our room. Well, honey, it's your room. Bring yourself back in. Mom, that's not the point. The point is that I'm worried about Katie. I am too. And yet, you're just going to sit on your behind and not do anything. Kit. I'm sorry, Mom, but I'm really worried about Katie and you're not doing much to help her. I tried. Maybe you can, maybe you can get her to talk. Alright, I'll go, I'll go see her. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mom. Sweetie, um, your sister and I are both very worried about you. I'm fine. Honey, we, you and, me and your sister and even you, we all know that you didn't just fall. Somebody did this, didn't they? No, nobody did this at all. Katie. You know you you know, you know I'm your mother. You could tell me anything. And don't tell me to get out, cause I own this house. Mom, this isn't funny. Honey, I'm just really worried about you. Why won't you tell me what's going on? Because it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. I'm your mother, and I'm supposed to make sure you're not hurt. I I appreciate that, Mom. But really, I'm okay. Really. <sighs> Okay. But you know, where you know where I'll be if you need to talk. Thanks, but I'll be fine, really. Okay. Oh, I got a text message. Come in. Hey. Honey, what are you doing here? What kind of a greeting is that? I'm sorry, I just wasn't... Expecting you, that's all. Your sister called me. Kit called you? Yeah, and she's really worried about you. Did you tell her what's been going on? I can't. Why? Just can't. Well, there's got to be a reason. What do you think the reason is, Kavi? I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Oh, my gosh. I am afraid that, that you're going to tell anyone. I'm not going to tell anyone. I mean, I think you should tell... I think you should tell your mother and sister what's been going on. But I'm just your friend. I mean, I can't force you to do anything you don't want to do. Good, because I don't want to do it. Why? I can't. Why? Oh, my God, will you stop saying that word? Why, why, why? I'm tired of you saying why, why, why. Just don't want to, okay? This is my business. Not, not yours, not kids, not my mom's. Nobody's. It's my business. I have to realize, we're in middle school now, and I have to realize that I can't go to my mom for every little thing. Well, maybe not, but it doesn't mean you can't go to your mom over something like this. I mean, you deserve to feel safe, don't you? Can you please just leave me alone, please? Okay, fine. I'll leave. But just remember what I told you. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. How was school? It was fine. Where's your sister? 
in our bedroom. I don't think she wants to go. All right, um, you go on ahead. I'll go. I'll take care of your sister. Bye, Mom. Bye. Have a good day. Too. <sighs> Perks of being a mom. Who is it? It's your mom. Come in. Hi, honey. Hi. Shouldn't you already be on your way to school? I don't want to go. Okay, do you have a reason why you don't want to go? I don't feel good. You don't feel good? Yeah, I'm uh, sick. Uh, <clears throat> Listen. Kate, your sister and I are very worried about it. I wish you would stop worrying about me. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. Honey, being independent doesn't doesn't mean you can't ask for help sometimes. I mean, it's part of being independent is knowing when to ask for help. And I have a feeling today is one of those times. No, really, it isn't, Bob. Really, I'm fine. Stop lying to me. I'm not lying. Listen, Kate, um, why don't you go to school and we'll talk about this tomorrow. Tomorrow? Well, when you get back at the end of the day today. Because I'm really worried about you. Look, I know, you're, I know you're, you're saying you're worried about me because you're my mom. You're supposed to worry about me and Kate. Kit. No, honey. I'm worried about you not just because you're my daughter. I'm worried about you in general. Why won't you tell me what's going on? Because it's not a big deal, okay? Look, you want me to go to school so badly? I'll go. Just stop asking so many questions. I'll see you later. Okay, that went well. Hey, did she show up yet? No. Oh my God, this is crazy. Why does she want to beat me up? I wish I knew. I mean, I have her money. Maybe if I give it to her, she'll, de she'll suspend my, my being for a while. <laughs> Look, Kate, I know you're scared, but I'm going to be right here. Thanks. Yeah. Besides, do you want, do you want the plain white bandages or do you want the bandages with the buddies on? What are you talking about? For when, for when Raya destroys you? I mean, do you want, do you want, which bandage do you want? You're not funny, Kavi. I'm sorry. Hey. So, you decided to show up? Uh, yeah. Do you have my money? Yeah, but it's not as much as before. How much is it? Well, I gave you ten. I have five. You didn't bring me ten dollars? I'm sorry, I ran out of money. I thought we had an agreement. You give me $10 a day, and I leave you alone. You know what? <laughs> Look, Vaya, why don't you just leave my friend alone? You asking for it, too? Go ahead. Beat me up. As long as you leave Kate alone, you can do whatever you want with me. Coffee? Shh. Kate, I got this. Why don't you just leave Katie alone? You're right. I won't pick on Katie anymore. Really? Yeah. Instead, I'm going to focus on you. Me? Yeah, you got a big mouth. Uh, Kate, a little help here? I got to get to class. I'll see you later. Kate! Please don't hurt me. I won't hurt you as long as you give me my money. I don't have your money right now. Oh, well then, I guess. Guess what? Well, I'd hate to be you. What do you mean by that? I hate to be you who's going to be beaten up today after school. You, yeah. I'm going to give all I gave Kate, I'm going to give to you. So, but instead, I'll make a special deal with you. What's that? Give me $20 every day and I'll leave you alone. But you only asked Kate to give you 10 well, yeah, but that was before you butt into our business. But I, didn't, I don't have $20. If you don't 
Give me $20. By the end of the week, I'm going to keep doubling it. So if you don't bring me my 20 tomorrow, it'll go to 40 and so on. You can't do that. I just did. So if I were you, I'd stay out of my way. Hey, huh? What's wrong? Oh, Kate, I thought you were Vaya. Why? I don't look a thing like her. Why did you have to run when Vaya began picking on me? Why did I want any confrontation? So you wanted me to help you when you were going to get beat up. But yet when I'm going to get beat up, you walk away from it? I'm sorry. Yeah, well, Vaya's going to beat me up. She's charging me $20 a day. Wow, really? I, I had 10 Yeah, I know. I could do the math. I'm sorry, Carvey. I'm not mad at you because I'm not mad at you about you about the fact that I had to stick up for you. I'm mad because you just walked away when I had the same problem as you did. I just I was just too scared. Well, don't you think I was scared when I defended you, but I still did it anyway? I thought we were friends, but we aren't. No, you know what? I kind of hope that Vaya does beat me up, because then at least give me, give me something to think about besides the fact that you're a rotten friend. Kavi, just leave me alone. Kavi! Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. What's the matter? Nothing. Just that Kavi and I had a fight. Oh, was that all? You and Kavu make up. You always do. No, Mom, I'm a horrible friend. Why? What happened? I really don't want to talk about it. Well, we're going to. Come on, sit down. Does this have anything to do with whatever you were upset about last night? Okay, fine. There's this girl named Vaya, and she wanted to fight me after school today. But Kavi stood up for me, and now Vaya wants to fight her. What did you say to her? To Avaya? Mm-hmm. I didn't. You didn't say anything to Avaya about how your best friend was going to get beat up. I didn't want to... I didn't want to make anything more tense. Are you sure that's the reason? What if something were to happen to you, to your friend? Nothing's going to happen. How do you know that? Whatever. I'm going to go do my homework. Katie, I don't want to talk about this anymore. You make me feel like... Feel bad, okay? So just leave me alone. Katie! Oh. Hey. How did things go today? Good and bad. What do you mean? I mean, you're home early and you don't have any bruises or anything. I am... Um, um, Kavi got Vaya to stop picking on me. Yeah, I had a feeling Vaya was picking on you. Yeah, well, Vaya stopped picking on me. Well, that's great. What's the problem? Vaya wants to beat Kavi up now. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I wanted... I wanted to confront Vaya about how she shouldn't be beating Kavi up. But, but what? But I didn't. I was a horrible friend. Yeah, I'd have to say you are. I mean, Kavi was there for you. It's time you. It's all. It's time you ought to return the favor. She'll be fine. Kavi could be pretty aggressive. She'll be fine. I hope so. Katie, 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 wake up, hmm? Oh, what is it, Kit? Guess what? What? You're not going to like what I'm going to tell you. But what? Kavi's in the hospital. What? Yeah. Vaya knocked her, knocked Kavi down cold, and Kavi has a severe head injury, and they don't expect her to live. What? Yeah, you should have been there for Kavi. Now look what you did. But I didn't mean to. I don't want this to happen. 
Yeah, well, it's a little late for that. But I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Oh, my God. I can't let that happen to Gavi. I gotta go help her. Hey, Gavi. Hey, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? It's three o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, what's that have to do with anything? Wasn't that when Kavi said, I mean, what Vaya said you were gonna beat you, she was gonna beat you up for? Yeah. So how come you're not at home where you feel safe? I'm not gonna feel safe until you feel safe. What do you mean? If Vaya's gonna beat somebody up, it's gonna be me. Why? I, I, I already told her not to beat you up, and now all of a sudden you want to be beat up? Man, not necessarily saying I want to be beaten up. But if it's gonna... But if me getting beat up is gonna repair our friendship, and I'm able to do anything. You know, yeah, but, you know, it'd be great if she didn't beat me or you up. Yeah, but that's not gonna happen. Oh, so you guys were talking about me? No, 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 Raya. No, Raya. Don't lie. I can't believe. What, are you two Siamese twins or something? Well, we're friends. Yeah, best friends. Well, anyway, at least I can hit... At least I can hit one of you. Look, hit me. No, hit me. You guys are confusing me. I got an idea. Okay, follow me. No, I deserve to get hit. No, I do. No, I do. Ah, uh, you guys are driving me nuts. Now, who do, who should I hit? Me. No, me. Me. No, me. Ugh, it's not worth it. It's not worth the energy. It's not worth it. Oh, my gosh. Kate, where did you learn how to do that? Just a little bird told me. <laughs> well, listen. But listen, Kavi, I'm really sorry I wasn't there for you. I mean, you were offending me the whole time Vi was being mean to me, and I should have been there for you when she was being mean to you. It's okay, maybe I overreact. You didn't overreact. You were right and I was wrong. I mean, I shouldn't have deserted you. Well, you're here now and that's what matters. Yeah, I guess. Hey, it's okay. Come on, let's go grab a soda. Okay, I'll be there in a minute.